Hi there and welcome to this sound design tutorial. Today we're going to be making a simple detuned square lead and this sounds really easy to make and works in many different musical styles. Okay so for the tutorial I've already made a pattern of notes so what I'm going to do is just pop that up on the screen now and you can copy that into your piano roll. Okay so now you've got the notes down we can go ahead with the sound design. So we'll just click new to initialize the patch here and with the pattern of notes that should just sound like this. Okay so first of all we're going to go into our settings panel here and we know this is going to be a monophonic synth so we turn this down to one and we want to turn legato on as well so any overlapping notes blend between each other and now going into our oscillator section here in slot one we're going to insert a square wave oscillator and we're going to do the same in slot two And now we're going to detune these waves apart from each other, just so we get some subtle movement in the sound. And now in slot three, we're going to insert another square wave oscillator. And with this one, we're going to adjust the pulse width just so we add some more subtle, interesting harmonics. And we're going to turn down the level of oscillator 3 in the mixer panel here, just so that is a bit more subtle. And now in our pre-filter effects slot here, we're going to insert a fuzz distortion. Okay, and now going into our filter here, we're going to push up the resonance just so we can capture some of those really nice high frequencies. And we're going to set up this envelope here to control the resonance of the filter. And this is going to really highlight the transients of each note just by giving us a nice resonance sweep as they hit. Okay, and now we're going to add some pitch modulation to this sound. So we turn on this LFO here, and then we apply that to the coarse tuning of oscillator one and oscillator two. We're going to turn the level right down so that this is really subtle. And then we'll turn the rate up a bit and turn on sync and retrick. Okay, and now in our post filter effects slot here, we're going to add in another fuzz distortion. And now going into our effects slot, in slot number one, we're going to insert a tube distortion. And now in slot two, we're going to insert an echo.
And then finally in effect slot 3 we're going to add a reverb. Okay, so that's sounding cool now, and that would definitely work with many different musical styles. For example, if you wanted to use this in more of a grime context, you could just go into the keyboard panel here, and then just push up the glide. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial today and you can download the patch we've just made in the video description below.